folks, and welcome to another edition of Todd's Tips and Tricks for Kibo's Unified Commerce Platform. Today's tip, how to use Postman to update product type attribute value sorts in bulk. See the reference of this video for links to the Excel template and Postman collection I'm about to reference. Remember that all the API calls and admin screens used in this video are described on our documentation portal, docs.kibocommerce.com, and our new API documentation portal, apidocs.kibocommerce.com. When an administrator needs to change the sort order of attribute values displayed on a product edit screen in admin or in a product storefront API call, they would go into product types, find the attribute, option, or extra that they need to update, open it in editor, and begin dragging and dropping values to the position where they want them displayed. When the list of values exceeds 15 or 20, this can be rather tedious and prone to user error. The import export tool will allow you to add and remove attribute values from a product type in bulk but it will not allow you to change the sort order of those values. Postman and Excel to the rescue. Open the Kibo Tutorials Postman collection to expand Commerce, Admin, Attribute Definition, Product Types. You will see two requests, a get request named get product type extra and a put request named update product type extra. Let's look at get product type extra. The response field setting tells the APIs to only respond with the attribute FQN, the order, and the vocabulary values fields. These are the only values that we are going to be updating when we send our update. The product type ID is the ID of the product type where you want to see the sort order change. You can get this by going to Admin, System, Schema, Product Types, clicking on the product type that you want to update and getting the ID from the URL. You can also modify the interface to show the ID of the product type on the listing page. The attribute FQN is the system identification for the attribute you want to update. If you don't know this value, go into Admin, System, Schema, Attributes. Click on the attribute you want to update in the product type and get the FQN from the URL. You can also go to the list of attributes and add the FQN there as well. Once you have those values, enter them into the Query Params field and the Path field in the request. Make sure that you have the correct connection selected and then click Send. If everything is set up correctly, that should give you a result of the attribute that you're trying to update, along with all of the values that are associated to it in that product type. Copy the values for the attribute FQN and order fields. You will need them later. Once you've made it this far, Let's go ahead and open the Excel spreadsheet included with this tutorial. There are three columns in the spreadsheet. The value column is the value of the attribute and the product type that you want sorted. The order column is literally the sort order that you want the value to be in within the product type. The JSON field is a formula that builds the JSON that's going to be needed for the update that we're going to make. All an administrator must do is fill in the values that they want in the attribute for that product type and then put in the sort order. The formula will create the JSON for you. If you're curious about how the formula works, it's just an Excel concatenation formula. I have several fields on the token tab that define the pieces that make up the JSON and then just assemble them with the value and the order entered by the administrator. Now open the update request. On the params tab, replace the product ID with the same product ID you used in the get. Replace the attribute FQN with the same attribute FQN that you used in the get. Now open the body tab. Notice how there's three variable sections with a note to replace me. Replace the value for the attribute FQN with the same value that you used in the params. Replace the value for the order with the same value that was returned for order in the get request. Replace the value for vocabulary values with the values from the JSON column in the spreadsheet. Don't include the column name.
If you hit Beautify and you see an error, then there is some problem with one of the values that you entered. Undo your changes and start over. If the Beautify works, then you should be able to just hit Send. If everything works as expected, you'll get a 200 response and you will see all the attribute values in the response as well. You can then go into admin and refresh your product type and see the values in the correct order. And that's all there is to it. Leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for other topics and please don't forget to subscribe.